Now here's the kicker. So after that one, because I think I had it was two in two in a pack. So after that, I decided I was just going to take another take the other one because I'm just like, nah, I need another one that tell me like I am. Cause I'm like, this could be some foolishness. And I kept Googling, like, and it was like it's very rare that you would get a false positive. So I was just like there was like false negatives are more common, but it's very uncommon to get a false positive. So I'm like, oof. So I took the other one, which is this one. Don't ask why I still got them. It was really for this video. And as you see, that one is negative. So that kind of brought my, my little happiness down because I was just like so filled with love <laughs> because I'm like... There's a child really growing in my stomach. And it was just like the sweetest feeling ever. And it's just like made me so happy. But it just made me like I just feel with freaking love and just happiness. And I was just like, I'm ready you know, for the experience for my, my baby. So, but when I got that negative, it kind of, you know, broke me a little bit because I'm like, well, I don't know for sure now because now I'm getting mixed, more mixed signals, which is very frustrating because for me, it was like, okay, if I am, okay, so wait, wait, so in the beginning, I'm like, no, I don't want, I don't want to be pregnant right now. So before I took the test, I'm like, please be a no. But when I got the positive, it's like it just instantly changed. Like my whole mood, like my the way I was feeling, it just made me so happy. So after I got the negative, I'm just like, well, shit. And I was like, well, and I read that you should test early in the morning. That's when you can get the most accurate result. So um, on my birthday... Some of my friends from work came out to Trieste to come, you know, chill with me. So they went ahead. They don't. They didn't know anything about it. So they went ahead with Jazz, and they all went back to the uh, the Airbnb. Me, one of my homegirls um, that I work with, and my homeboy that uh, one of the ones I travel with a lot or go to the like the lakes and stuff with. We were behind, and Harley was with me. So. My homeboy, he stayed outside with Harley and because I told like my homegirl about it. So she was just like, girl, that's that's clear as day positive. And I'm just like, and I was just like happy. So I we went to we found a little pharmacy, which is a pharmacy, of course, um, in Trieste. So me and her stopped and we went in there and I bought, I think, four of them damn tests. It was my total of like 60 something or 80 something euro. That's a lot. I think it was 60 something euro which is a lot and so I'm like I need a I need a no I need a no so the next morning I took one and it was negative again so I'm just like well what the fuck so of course I hop back on Google I forgot the the thing I was on the website but it was a lot of people that had the exact same thing but were still you know pregnant so I was just like well am i or am i not and so my birthday was on a sunday this year yeah so i'm just like okay so am i or am i not and then i think i took another one later that day and got another negative or i took one i got home or something i don't know and that was this was the italian one so it actually looks like it's positive now because it's old and you can see the the other line, which is creepy. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to calm down and not be too excited about it. And I told, was telling my mom, like, don't tell people right now, even though she had to tell her one of, one of her other friends. I'm like, don't tell people right now because I don't know for certain. And I don't want to get too happy, even though I already did. And then it'd be negative. And I have my little feelings hurt. 
So I scheduled, well, that Monday is when we came back and I had to go to work later that day and so did Jazz. So I called and Harley had a appointment to get groomed. I'll put a video of when he got groomed because he looks so handsome. Harley. But I, I scheduled an appointment to go to Women's Health to get a pregnancy test from them. I was hoping they were going to do a blood test instead of just a regular pee test. So, I called and I was like giving the lady on the phone my information. When I got off the phone, I got a message from one of my Facebook friends. She was like, girl, that was me on the phone. I'm just like... Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was dying laughing, weak in the crowd. I'm like, because I'm like, God damn it. Now, get somebody know. Even though she she's not going to tell nobody. But still, I'm just like, that shit was hilarious. I could not stop laughing about that. And um, I think I they told me I can come in at whatever time. So I went in, I think. I may have gone in Tuesday or month. I don't know. I don't think I went that. No, I didn't go that same day. Um, I went the next day, Tuesday, around like 2 o'clock. So when I went, well, somebody else that I know that some they went before said they got results the same day, confirmed that they were. So when I went at like 2, but they went early in the day. I went at 2 something. They were like, um, they didn't call me back that same day. So I'm like, you know anxious to know like my anxiety is like loop de looping around the world so i'm just like dang can they call me back already <sighs> i don't even know where i stopped that but i'm gonna assume that i stopped um i, w I was waiting um for the call the call they took forever to call me excuse me so the next day wednesday at like Four, like I'm still waiting so like four o'clock come they call me like right before work I was on swing shift which started I think at 4 30 but I was on 12 hour shifts because I went studying so they I had to come in four hours early but they finally called me and when she called me she was like hey this is so exciting I want to talk and I'm just like she was like, so your test came back negative. Like, I was so heartbroken, y'all. I wanted to cry so bad. Like, I wanted to boo-hoo. And yes, I didn't want my husband to miss out on anything. But that little, that little sense of, you know, hope after getting that positive, it like, like I said, it just like filled me with so much love and happiness and when she told me that it just like stripped it all away and it just hurt me so freaking bad and when she told me i was like biting the crap out my lips so i would not cry i did not cry well yeah so <laughs> i think i will start like start experiencing pms symptoms because like, that's what it was like, a mix of PMS, but also additional stuff. Because I was having cramping on my right side, my lower right side. And when I Googled it, because I was washing my hair in the shower when I noticed it. I'm just like, what the hell was that? And I Googled it, and it said, so-and-so on your right side. I'm just like. So that's why I was just like, dang, it actually might be a baby in there. So, you know, I was just so sad. And we... I think that same night, my one of my folks that I work with, he's a, a supervisor. He was like, I he asked me something and I didn't know what he was talking about. And he was like, were you not in roll call? Were you not listening? And he didn't say it like really mean. He talked to dry as hell anyway. But he didn't really say it mean. But it just like triggered the hell out of me. I just wanted to cry because I'm just like, what the hell? I was being dramatic as hell. Like, my hormones are and that's another thing i was my hormones were ridiculously crazy like i was yelling at harley and i felt so bad because he was just being aggravating and sitting there whining and stuff and i'm just losing my mind yelling at him 
And then um, I think that day or the next day, I end up having to stay uh, late, later because I didn't do some of my training that I didn't know was due. I walked into roll call late, so I missed that part. So I was like about to cry doing that. I think that this was the next day, I think. And I'm about to cry because I'm so aggravated and I'm doing that. So I think it took like two hours for me to do it. And I was like fighting tears. And my coworker with my friend, he was beside me. He was also doing training because he didn't. Excuse me, God damn. He didn't uh, complete his training, so his online training. So he had to stay too and do it. And he was playing his computer loud so I couldn't hear mine. So I'm really freaking aggravated and I didn't want to say nothing because I know if I said something, I was going to get real rude because I was just so like my hormones were crazy. I was just so hurt and like upset and stuff. So when I got, I left, like my coworker left and then it was me and one of the other higher ups that worked there. So when we were leaving out the other higher, he's really nice all the time. So we were leaving out and he said something to me. He was like, next time you need to get your training done, like do it, at least do it during your lunch so you don't have to stay late. So I was like, I didn't hear it, but I will. And so like I'm walking to my car. He's walking to his car. I'm walking to my car and I just like, I couldn't hold it no more. I just started crying. It, he, he didn't notice because I was just like, I would, the tears just started falling. You couldn't see me. It was nighttime. So I'm just, you know, I start crying. I get in my car, I drive off. And I tell you, when I got in a car, oh, I start boo-hooing. Like, <sighs> like, and then that night driving home. So in Italy, it gets extremely foggy to the point where you literally cannot see anything. You cannot see oncoming traffic or anything. Like, you can't see their lights coming until they're actually right up there on you. So it was extremely foggy that night. I couldn't see anything. Um, I'm driving, crying, foggy, can't see because the tears and the freaking fog. So, y'all. So, I'm just like, boo-hoo in my house. It's like, well, from my actual shop that I work at, it's 20 minutes. But from the front gate, it's 15 minutes, 13 to 15 minutes. So, that whole time, like, I'm just boo-hooing. And then I stopped for a little while and then... I started thinking about stuff, started thinking about my dad, and I just <laughs> get emotional a little bit. So, um, I just started thinking about stuff, thinking about my dad, and then I just started crying again. I'm not going to cry. Trying to get myself together so I can tell y'all like some more parts. But um yeah, I, I just blew my way home. And then when I got home, I was like, I was okay. I guess because I let it all out. And then like for me, when I got the little excitement about possibly possibly being pregnant, it was like extreme happiness but then again I was still you know kind of sad because one thing that really breaks my heart is knowing that I'm not gonna cry Okay, let me put myself together real quick. Is um knowing that my kids would never have my dad as their grandfather in their life. And I used to always imagine him like because whether I have a son or a daughter, I want them to play T ball. And my dad used to coach T ball for my brothers and baseball too. So I would always, like when I was younger, I used to always 
imagine my dad playing, like coaching their team and playing, you know, t-ball with them and doing grandfather stuff. I'm not finna mess up my good makeup. Okay. Okay, for real now. So, it just sucks that he won't, they won't have that experience and he won't either. And I feel like Okay, I feel like that's why I wouldn't say I'm in a rush to have kids, but that's the reason that I really want to have kids now because like I'm going to do a story time eventually of me finding out about my dad passing. I'm going to tell you all that now. It's more than likely going to be very emotional. <laughs> Probably crying on there too. But, um... Like, you never know how much time you have with people. And, like, when I went home back in December, it was because I lost my uncle, which is my daddy's brother. They passed 14 months apart. And my dad's, his passing was very random. And my uncle, he passed, his was pretty random too, but he ended up catching COVID. So... He did have a, a grandson and a granddaughter, and his grandson, I believe, is six, seven, maybe six. So, you know, he's been around him very long, and he has a new grand, uh, granddaughter. She just turned six months, and he was able to see her a few months before he actually caught COVID. So, that was a blessing for him to be able to see her and get pictures with um her and stuff. So, um... I pray my mom's gonna be here, you know, long, long, like, long, 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 super long time. But I know that's not guaranteed, you know. And I want her, and she really wants a grandchild so bad. She'd be jealous about other people. Like, her friends posting pictures with their grandkids. She was like, wish I could post my grandchild. Which, she only has Harley right now, so she better be grateful she got Harley. But, um... My grandparents, they're in pretty good health, which is my, my dad's parents. But I know them losing two kids. They had two daughters, two sons, and they lost both of their sons. So it's just their two daughters left. I'm like, I know that's very heartbreaking for them. That was the main reason I made sure I went home in December because I needed to see them. Because honestly, I don't know how much time I have with them. Even though they're in good health, they're still going through heartbreaks, you know, losing their kids especially that close together. So I really want, um, my family always asks me when I'm having kids too. <laughs> but um, like they asked when I went home, my my dad's sister's husband, which is my uncle, he asked me, he's like, so, you know, when you have, and I was like, well, hopefully this year, you know. But um, I want my kids to be able to, you know, meet my grandparents and have pictures with them. And, you know, have a relationship with my grandparents so that's why I'm kind of like I want kids now so I can you know give them that and it's just like it's dragging the process is dragging honey it's dragging so I mean my husband came here today and was like hey let's have a kid I was like okay so I'm gonna tell y'all that so um if you watch you know to the end of this video you know, I'm not pregnant, so I'm just fat as hell still. But I am working out. Well, it starts Monday. Yeah, it starts Monday. I have a new trainer. 
she doesn't she's not gonna go to the gym and stuff with me i know my hands actually don't say nothing but um but she's you know guiding me which i am very grateful for because i need that but um i don't know if y'all didn't watch the video because uh i'll see y'all in the goddamn comments talking about congratulations i'm like but wait what um some things i forgot to mention my cycle ended up coming on the 25th like i expected so um that's why i was like kind of annoyed because i'm like i should have just waited until the first like i said because i wanted to see if it was gonna come on the 25th in which it ended up doing so i wasted money on pregnancy tests just wasted money on my pregnancy test and i was just you know hurt and my my friend alicia she did give me some encouraging words because she knew well I, i'm pretty sure she even though we were messaging she knew that you know i was you know hurt about it and i wasn't okay and she asked me was i okay i'm like yeah and she just you know basically it's like it's okay to not be okay you know so that made me happy you know that someone actually cares about how i felt you know about it and also um after taking that plan b like i had symptoms even after i had my cycle i still had you know weird symptoms um and they actually recently just stopped because my boobs you know i tell you my boobs my nipples are so sore all the time like i would go up and down the stairs and they would just hurt and you know they were sore so i would have i was having like other like symptoms and stuff too and it lasted from when i took the pill in january up until probably mid-march is when it stopped so because I'm, I'm feeling like way better now but that was just like a terrible you know experience with that I was just like, yeah, I'm never taking this again. So next time I see my husband, it is what it is. We just gonna play with fire. Anyways, I love you all. Now love me the fuck back, and I'm gonna end it on my what? Oh wait, I was supposed to count you all down. I'm sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Every time she walk by, I be like, there she go.